first graders, uh, we've been talking about the artist Keith Hearing, and I showed you a video on him. He's an abstract artist, and you did the game that I got off the Teachers Pay Teachers, and your drawings look great, and I asked you to keep them so you could use them as a guide. I even said that you could trace your own artwork because it is your artwork. So here's some other pictures of his artwork. See how it's done in black and white, and then he has bold colors. This is a symbol sheet I made. I was looking at another uh, lesson that our teacher was doing. And if you want to add extra, add F extra symbols other than what's on here that we talked about or your own symbols, and I'll have these at your, at your table. Here's some more figures. Uh, like I said, we've already practiced and we drew it in pencil. Your name needs to be on the left-hand side. And then see how I have the action. That's what Keith Herring is known for. You can put three little lines in. So the next step, what you're going to do, artist, is right on top of, you have choices, right on top of where the pencil line is, you can take a sharp A, because we're fans A, and you can outline this whole thing. When I say you have choices, you can outline it with a sharp A black, or you can use a Crayola. Outline it first, and then on the inside, you have more choices of whether you want to use colored pencils. Don't spend the whole time trying to sharpen your pencils, remember or you can use crayons. So you're gonna outline it. And then on your background, you can choose either to do some designs in there, color it lightly with colored pencils or crayons, or you can leave it white. So I'm going to do a couple different videos and show you some steps of it. Artists, see how I'm going in and I'm erasing my pencil lines. And when you erase, and you wanna make sure that you don't rip your paper, you're very careful, I wrote my name with the sharp A. See, I have a mat, one of our paint mats underneath. When you're using a marker and you want to go to the edge, you want to put one underneath. You don't have to ask it on the back counter. Very carefully hold your hand up the top, wipe this away. You're going to have to clean your table later. And I have made a decision that if you want to use the crayons, markers, or color pencils, you can. I decided since Keith Hearing is all about bold colors, I'm going to use watercolors. And the watercolors that we're going to use, they're already separated by warm and cool colors. So I'm going to pause the video once again and start painting for you guys. Now I've got it all filled in. I've decided I'm going to do nothing in the background. Uh, we've talked about having uh, one figure, at least one figure, two symbols. You need to have three things. Let's just say it that way. It could be a combination. It could be uh, two people and one animal. It could be three animals. It could be one symbol, one animal, one person. Uh, so any kind of combination, as long as your paper, and you could have more than that, but you have to have at least. And so our steps, you're going to first write your name on your paper. You've already practiced your drawing. Uh, draw it out with a pencil. Go over those lines with a black marker Sharpie if you're going to paint. Uh, because if you use a watercolor, it will get ruined. And then after that, you will paint outlining the shape with a round brush, filling it in with a flat brush. Remember when we're done, artists, we reshape Miss Paula, put her up in the cup. These will go in the drying rack. Like I said, I'm going to keep the background uh, white because that looks more like a Keith Herring picture to me. So good luck today.